This simple equation is the foundation of chaos theory, but the secrets of this equation could not be discovered until the advent of the microprocessor. This equation works by starting with a value for p, then solve the equation, jot down the answer, and put that value for p back in the equation. You do this over and over again. You just keep getting what appears as random numbers, but if you have a computer, you can iterate this equation hundreds of thousands or millions of times. Order begins to appear out of chaos. This slide shows the points of a similar equation after about 50 iterations. The points appear random, almost like shooting a shotgun at a piece of paper. As we increase the number of iterations, some type of pattern begins to appear. A couple thousand iterations, a definite form is taking shape. After several thousand iterations, what appears as a fern leaf is clearly visible. This fern was formed by one simple set of equations, simply by having a computer take the previous answer and use it as a variable in the next iteration. Now, there is an additional aspect of this theory called self-similarity. What this means is that if we zoomed in on a single leaf of this fern, it would look just like the full-sized version. And no matter how far I zoomed in, you would still see the same pattern repeating itself. This self-similarity is a subset of chaos theory called fractals. To understand this, let's look at a real fern leaf. Here we see a single branch of a fern. You can see the first branch in effect off the main stem. You can see the same branch in effect off of each stem protruding off the main stem. So we can see two levels of self-similarity at this magnification level. Zooming in, we see the same branching pattern in a single leaf. At this level of magnification, you can also see a third, fourth, and even a fifth level of self-similar branching. Patterns in nature can be viewed in terms of form and symmetry. Three forms seen often in both the physical and natural world are branches, spirals, layers. The symmetry of these forms often adds to their beauty as typified by radial symmetry, bilateral symmetry. Form and symmetry in the plant world are inherently beautiful. Every plant seems to portray a new interpretation of the predictable patterns of nature.